Welcome back. You are still watching the link right here on SABC One Zanzi for sure every Wednesday at six thirty. But kuna manje is studio ngile with a summer award winner, Utoya Delezi. How does that feel? Um, feels good. It's yeah. good to know that um, the, all the hard work paid off. You've been on the road for eighteen months. Yes. <laughs> How so? Okay, so we first released Pump It On. Mm -hmm. So from then, I've basically been on the road promoting the songs. Then the album came out in April. Mm -hmm. Then from then, we've just been traveling all over the place. Okay, now yeah, your mom passed on a few years ago. Tell me more about that. Um, it was very tragic. Um, mm -hmm. I was leaving I was leaving my trick um, and then it was an accident. So mm -hmm. it was very unexpected. And yeah, I guess that's when the journey started. I had to start yeah. fending for myself. and. Mm -hmm. It's either break down completely or yeah. make something out of it. I was about to ask you, how do you move on from something like that? You know, I guess this is where music comes in. Definitely. Um, you know, as an African, we sing for all well, Zulus. Mm -hmm. We sing for every occasion, whether you call them Pikai or you make yeah. a joke, you're still going to sing about it, yeah. or whether there's funeral, you sing. So I guess it all clicked at that time after experiencing so much pain. I realized, oh, actually, I could make a. I mean, I can sing, mm -hmm. and furthermore, from performing in pubs and you know getting paid for the first wow. time, I realized, okay, maybe I could make a career out of it. Now, yeah. your grandfather is Mango Sutsubitili. True, yes. But what's that like? <laughs> That's intense. Yeah, it's a, it's a parent. It's like having a parent mm. always trying to instill values um, and making sure that we're humble. And the rest of your family, I mean, do they still treat you like Toya, the young girl, or is it now Toya the star? They do realize now that I've grown up though. Yeah. They allow me to have my own life. Mm -hmm. um, but mm -hmm. I think they still keep me the same. My aunt still like teases me and stuff. Like oh. I'll say something on on Facebook and she'll be like, Toya, no, 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 no. And she'll tell me like, chill out, you yeah. know? So okay. I still That's got that good, one. Though. You need that. I do, okay. I do. Right, now, have you always been a fashion icon and how would you describe your style? Okay, well, firstly, no, I haven't always been a fashion really? icon. No, I used to look nasty sometimes. <laughs> um, my how fashion nasty? is. No, my fashion's grown. I used to be in a missionary school, so I went to see Katie and stuff uh, and uh, shave my hair. Mm -hmm. and. So I was very plain, and then from there I broke through. I wanted to find my own identity, if I could put mm -hmm. it that way. Now, if you could describe Toya's style in two words, yes. what would it be? It's a mix of vintage and street, let me yeah. put it that way. Yeah. Nice one. Now, getting into music, um, your album did really well. I mean, you're on the road for 18 months, so True. that explains why. <laughs> did you ever think that you're going to blow up like this? Wow, well, I wanted to succeed. Yeah. That was my main point. I, w I didn't want to just do the music for myself. I wanted mm -hmm. to succeed and Growing up like this though is another level. It's a whole new experience. Um, a lot has come with it. What inspires you when it comes to writing? Um, as life, living, different experiences. Um, they inspire me and of, of course being in South Africa, South Africa is beautiful. Mm. I've gotten the chance to travel um, to Plettenberg, to the wilderness mm. and Oh, South Africa is beautiful. Let's talk about the Summer Awards. You yes. performed with Reason. Yes, I did. Awesome performance. Thank Loved you. it. How was that? That was amazing. I love the fact that we took everything to the next level. Yeah. The theme was African Tron. We had some flat creepers. I don't know if you guys saw that. I saw. <laughs> I, kept on I was jumping up and down with that. <laughs> it was amazing. Like I, I often used to see productions like such as the one we've had now. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'd love to be there. Like, you only see this in America, mm -hmm. and there's lasers and yes, all that. Yes. We took it to the next level. So yeah. it was a beautiful experience. And for me, each of these experiences are educational of because um, if you can get it done, then they'll try something else with you. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's how, in South Africa, you get to the top. Now, you walked away with two awards. Yes. Two awards. Yeah, three and entirely for the whole team. Three, oh, three yeah. awards. Best the produced best, album. Uh-huh, and the other two? Uh, best newcomer and best pop. It felt amazing and I was honoured that the competition was stiff as well. Yeah. Like it's people that mm. are really doing well. Does this mean more money? More money for our problem? More money. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> it means more work. Um, yeah. It means the teams that I worked with were phenomenal. Um, I'm very proud of them. Your fans that are watching the show right now, what would you like to say to them? Um, I just want to say thank you just for being fresh. Eh? It's a new age, it's a new Africa 
and thanks for being a part of that with me and inspiring me to do even more. So nice the Lazians are the freshest. Thank you so much. Nice one. Everyone wants here. Is that the deep one? That's deep. I know, I'm glad you didn't go. That's deep. Thank you so much for coming through, babe. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. All right, Thank that's you. Toya Delazy. Do follow her on Twitter. That's at Toya Delazy and on Facebook, of course. But next up is Snazzle with the news.